Hi guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recover It, your one-stop solution to retrieve accidentally deleted and lost files from different storage devices. And we're back with another video, and today we are here to talk about something more conventional, something that not many people use these days. Of course, we are talking about CDs, DVDs, and traditional disk drives that were quite popular in the 90s and early 2000s, but have since become somewhat of a legacy hardware in the modern world. Still, many users actually rely on them from time to time to install different applications on their systems. In fact, some people still use the conventional DVD-ROM drives to install the Windows operating system. Now, if you are one of those people, you might have come across a situation where your disk drive just doesn't work. Now, this could be due to different reasons, such as outdated firmware, incompatible device drivers, and even physical damage to the disk itself. But before you get all angry and throw the DVD away, there are a few solutions you could implement to try and troubleshoot it. So in this video, we're going to share some of the most effective ways to resolve a non-working disk drive so that you can install your desired software without interruption. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future updates. Now, before proceeding any further, let's first understand how you can detect if a disk drive is not working properly. Of course, the easiest way to detect the issue would simply be to open the drive. If it doesn't open, then there is definitely something wrong. But if you're using Windows 7 or earlier, you can also detect disk drive errors through the yellow exclamation mark. Basically, whenever there is a problem with an external disk drive, your system will automatically display a yellow exclamation mark in the File Explorer window. Now, that is a clear sign that that particular drive has an error and it can't be opened. So, if you're seeing this mark, or if the CD drive won't open on your system, here are all the working solutions that will help you resolve the problem. The easiest way to resolve any issue with your CD or DVD drive is to run the hardware troubleshooter. Now, this is a built-in Windows program that is designed to automatically diagnose and troubleshoot different hardware-related errors. Now, this is the most suitable solution when you don't know what is causing a drive-related issue and you want to resolve it as soon as possible. So, in the Cortana search box, search for Control Panel and open it. Then in the control panel window, click on the troubleshooting button. Now, under the hardware and sounds tab, click on configure a new device option. You may have to enter an admin password at this stage. A new window will then appear on your screen. On here, tap the next button and then run the troubleshooter. Now, wait a few minutes for the tool to automatically detect and resolve any problems. And once the process completes, Go back to the file explorer and check if you are able to open the CD drive or not. Using Microsoft's Fixit Center is another common way to troubleshoot systems with a CD drive that won't open. Keep in mind though that if you're running the latest Windows versions, be it 11, 10, or even 8, you won't find the Fixit Center directly. Instead, you'll have to use a dedicated troubleshooter to get the job done. To get started, Click on the Start button and then click on Settings. In the Settings window, click on Update and Security. In the next window, select the Troubleshoot option from the left side panel. Now, since we're dealing with a hardware-related problem, click on Hardware and Devices and then tap Run the Troubleshooter. And that's it. Let the system run and hopefully it will automatically resolve the problem. Now, if your Windows system still can't detect a CD drive, you may want to fix corrupt registry files to resolve the problem. Now, while this doesn't happen all the time, corrupt registry files can also restrict users from accessing external CD drives, and the only way to resolve this is to fix the registry files manually. But since they are crucial for smooth functioning of your system, make sure to create a restore point or a backup of the registries just in case of any unexpected failures. Again, open the Cortana search box, and this time search for RegEdit. Then click on the first search result and open the registry editor. Now, in the left panel, navigate to this particular class. HKey Local Machine, then System, then Current Control Set, 
then control, then class, then find the folder that is displayed across the screen now and click on it. Then on the right side of the window, you should see a file called upper filters. Right click on this and tap on the delete button. Then repeat the same process for the lower filters file and delete that as well. Now close the registry editor and perform a simple restart. At this point, you should be able to open your CD drive without any hassle. Finally, if you're still unable to open the drive, it's quite possible that you're running outdated device drivers. In this situation, go to the device manager window and update these drivers to the latest version. So press on the Windows and X buttons and then click device manager. Once the device manager window opens on your screen, expand the CD DVD ROM option. Then right click on the drive that's causing the problem and click on update drivers. On the next screen, click on the search for drivers automatically and follow the on-screen instructions to install the latest drivers. Make sure that your system stays connected to a stable internet connection throughout this process. Now, hopefully once the drivers are updated, you won't have to deal with this drive error anymore. So that is how you can open a CD or DVD drive that can't be detected by your system. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, if you face any issues while implementing any of these solutions, make sure to drop a comment and someone from our team will get back to you as soon as possible. And to see more useful tutorials like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recover It.